What's going on? Today, I'm going to show you how to perform SP404 type tricks without actually owning the SP404. Okay, so stick around and find out how. Okay, so it's worth mentioning that one of the first things you're going to need is some decent hardware controllers. Decent controllers that have knobs and sliders and faders that you can actually map to your doll. So that's very important. This is uh, my session right here. This is a beat that I put together. I did a beat breakdown on this type of beat. I'll just play it for reference. So. so in this demonstration, what we're going to do is we're going to build a setup to where you could do the SP404 type effects. And just to get a good reference, I'm gonna show you what type of effects are included in SP404. The Roland SP404 is like a drum machine sampler that allows you to like uh, do like beat sets. It's really big in the lo-fi community and uh, a, lot of, it's a lot of cool um, effects that this machine can do, that this drum machine can do. Uh, you can actually uh, do a lot of cool on a fly type DJ type effects. Kind of hard to explain, but I can show you better than I can tell you. So we're gonna go over some of the effects. So this is the uh, SP404 by Roland. And they talk about some of the effects they have. They have what is a DJ FS looper, a BPM looper, you have reverb, flanger, delay, voice transformer, distortion, filter, slicer, isolator, binders, vinyl simulator, and more. So uh, the purpose of building this, the whole purpose is building a setup to where you can do on the fly effects uh, using your controller. So this is what we're gonna do. We're in Bitwiz Studio. Let's say you have a, a, a track. We're going to build a chain, okay? So first thing you do, you build a chain. You're gonna go in here and you're gonna add your first effect. So let's add a delay. Delay. Can I spell? Delay. All right. So it's in here. Let's see what it sounds like now. Now, what you want to do is in this chain, you want to go to device pages, add a new page. And right here, what I like to do is I will map the mitts to this right here. So, boom. So now you, you're able to easily assess access the uh, mix so when you go to the next thing let's call this let's look for a flanger okay and i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to uh, send the mix to this right here so now you can play with the delay in the mix fairly quickly <laughs> And you, you go about just adding more chains of things until you ha have everything you want. So let's go ahead and add something else. Let's add like a reverb. Okay, have a reverb. I'm not gonna map the mitts. And it don't have to really be the mitts. It could be anything that you wanna, uh, uh, you can add anything you want. So let's see. <laughs> and uh, map this right here. So in a way, I feel like uh, this is a little more flexible than a, uh, a SP404 because you can you can map any parameter within the, the performance page. So I think that's kind of cool. Let's add something else. What, sh what else should we add? Uh, I'm trying to stay in Bitwig just to show that it can be done within Bitwig solely. But you can also add any third-party VST, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to add like an 8-bit plugin or bit 8. Okay. Going to the mitts. So notice I link the mitts right here to this page right here. I think I want to map the clock here too. So Okay, 
Okay, let's add else. What else can we add here? DJ EQ or EQ DJ. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is it's gonna have a new page. Add a new page. So I can have all three of these mapped here. So one. Mids, and we're going to do the highs. Boom. Okay. And let's add one more. Let's see. Let's do Remod. Okay. Uh, I said one more, but we're going to do one more this time. Distortion. And these are all bit with native plugins. Okay. So once you have everything that you might want to add into, like, a, I guess, a live performance setup, you can uh, then you can start mapping to your controller. So let's see. For this demonstration, I already have a setup and I have, uh, let me go ahead and enable this. So I have an APC 40 Mark II. So I have all my parameters mapped. So let's talk about what I have already in this demonstration. I have delay, 8-bit, distortion, flanger, reverb, DJ EQ. And then I have, uh, this is a Bino simulator right here. Although it doesn't say it, um, this one is like a DJ type stuttery type effect. So not exactly um, the same effects as the uh, SP404, but it's SP404 Lite, which is for me good enough. So I'm going to go ahead and just play around with this controller here as we go through the effects. <laughs> So yeah, uh, pretty cool. I think the key thing is just setting up all of the uh, chains of effects that you might want to uh, utilize in a live performance and set it up, uh, map it appropriately to your controller. And uh, most, most of all, make sure you have it, all your functions set up to your performance page so they can be uh, accessed easily. You can actually access it from here rather easily too if you don't want to use the controller. So, yep, that's that's pretty much it. All right, so that was my demonstration on how you can perform SP404 type tricks on your doll without actually owning an SP404. So let me know what you think in the comments. If you find this video to be useful, please like and subscribe. And also please share it to those who you think might find it useful. Okay, all right, talk to you next time.